Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. For today, I'm going to be testing out Arteza's metallic gouache paint, unfortunately not sponsored. And for the painting, I'm going to be using a photo I took when I was on a trip to Hawaii. This was taken on top of Mount Haleakala. I like how that name sounds. And it means House of the Sun. And I really like the composition of the photo, like how the sky really contrasts with the ground. The sights you see up here are just truly breathtaking and amazing, like no other place in the world. At least places that I've been to. So if you really like nature and hiking, I'd suggest going to Maui if you're ever planning to go to Hawaii. I'm going to be using about four metallic colors and the rest will just be with regular gouache. Without further ado, let's start with the painting. First, I always start off with a sketch. And this is going to be a quick one since there's not much going on in the photo. Next, I'm painting the sky with really watered down colors. I want to make sure that it stays bright just like the photo. What's interesting is that this was taken right when the sun was going down, but it was also cloudy the whole time. Now I'm going to mix the pearl apricot and bronze metallic colors to use for the ground. I'm going to use my angled brush to outline the edges here. Now I'm just trying to cover the entire ground with the same color. Here I'm fixing up my mistake because I didn't let the sky dry fully so that orange blended in. Pro tip, just don't be impatient. Now I'm adding more depth to the ground by mixing bronze with some burnt umber. It's important to note that the foreground is always going to be darker than the background and which is why I'm painting the bottom first. Now I'm adding a couple of brush strokes here and there to add more detail. Next, I'm going to use the perlite metallic paint to add highlights to the top. So far, it's coming off as too transparent on the page, so I'm actually going to mix it with some more white. And I'm going to make some dabbles here and there to imitate pieces of rocks and dirt. I'm also deliberately placing where I want these highlights to be. I'm trying to make it seem like the two people are in the center of the painting, so I'm making each of my brush strokes sort of point towards them. I'm liking how it looks so far. Now I'm going to add some deeper shadows and sort of dabble the paint here and there again. Some of the shadows look too strong to me, so I'm going to go in with some water and just rub it off. The hardest part is going to be painting the two little people. So I'm going to go in with the pearl gray metallic paint and start doing the outline. I'm still using the same angled brush and as you can see, it's doing such a great job with doing these little tiny details. I switched to a smaller angled brush just to be extra careful. And they're finished! Don't they look so cute? Now I'm just touching up the sky a bit more. I think the edges could be more dark so I went in with some burnt umber. As I paint over it, you can actually see some of the metallic glistening through. The painting's done now, so I'm going to be removing the tape. This was a really quick painting and I really didn't want to overwork it. As I've been told a long time ago, the less is more. And check out the final result. I really do like how this turned out. As I move my painting side by side, you can actually see it shining. And up close you can see all those shimmering details. I think I'll use metallic gouache more in my future paintings just to add some more pizzazz. Anyways, thanks for watching.